So a few months ago, Elon Musk revealed this on Twitter, the Tesla Model 3 Performance. Now this is the performance version of the compact Model 3 sedan, well, yes, the one that's gone through production delays. And when he, when he announced it, he made a very, very bold claim. He said, it'll cost about the same as a BMW M3, but it'll be 15% quicker and with better handling, and it will beat anything in its class on the track. Now, even by Elon Musk standards, that is a very bold claim. So in this video, we're going to be unpacking that and seeing if the Model 3 can actually beat anything in its class on the track. Now, before I begin, I should point out a little disclaimer. Take us with a grain of salt. We have no on-track performance data yet. There have been some first tries, but nothing set in stone. Obviously, this could change. This is purely based off the data that I have available. Anyway, let's begin. So I put together a little table here. We can see the Tesla Model 3 performance with the performance upgrade that gives you the better brakes, the tires, and etc. The BMW M3 competition, which is what he's specifically referencing, and the fastest car in the class on the trace track, which is the Alpha Giulia Quadrifoglio. <clears throat> um, so let's begin, shall we? So first, so the, as we can see, the Model 3 is the cheapest of the lot, 69,000 US dollars, as opposed to 72 and 75,000. It's quicker to 60 miles an hour, three and a half seconds versus 3.9. Has all wheel drive, which is obviously advantage off the line and gives you better acceleration at corners. Obviously also it's an electric car, which means you have that instant torque out of the corners. That's very useful on a tight and twisty racetrack. Our top speed, it's slightly lower. That would only be useful on a track like the Nürburgring, as we'll get into later. Power. It is the kind of in the middle, uh, slightly more powerful than the BMW, slightly less powerful than the Alpha. Uh, 450 brake horsepower or 336 kilowatts. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty preppy, but remember, it is an electric car. You have instant torque. Speaking of torque, it has the highest amount of torque of the lot, 639 newton meters, as opposed to 550 and 600. Again, that comes with the electric motors. However, it is considerably heavier. Now that 1900 kilogram figure is approximate based on Tesla Model S data and how the current Model 3 weighs in. But yeah, it should be much heavier than its petrol counterparts. Tire profile, 235, 35 all round, narrowest tires. However, they are Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Very, very grippy tires. Those are basically the best tires you can buy with the exception of the track focused cup twos um, as you can see yeah michelin pilot super sport and for the others now this is where we get into the interesting part how fast will it go around the track now as i said we don't have um, data for the model 3 yet however we do have data for the alpha and the m3 so the m3 does the nurburgring norschleifer circle we're talking about here pit straight to pit straight there's no bridge to gantry uh, in 752 and the Alpha does in 7.32. I mean, that's a big difference. So, and then we also have the Chuckwalla Valley Raceway lap time. So I should stress that the Nürburgring time is from official manufacturer data, been confirmed by Guinness or whatever. And the Chuckwalla Valley Raceway, that was from a motor trend comparison test that occurred in 2016 uh, or 2017, and where they compared the M3, Alpha Julia, C63, the Mercedes AMG, and also the Cadillac ATS-V. Now, as you can see, the M3 and the Julia are basically equal, pretty much. Um, so that leaves at that point. Will the Model 3 be faster on track? Now, I'm going to make a very bold claim and say, yes, it will be faster. But how much faster? As we can see, put our Chuck Waller Raceway times on there. M3, Quadrifolio, basically equal. If I had to predict I would say one minute 55. Yep, that is, I mean, sure it's five seconds, but on a tight and twisty track, which this Chuck Waller Raceway is, um, the Model 3 would be great. It's all wheel drive, instant torque. Sure, it's heavier, but it's still very powerful, sticky tires. So yeah, I believe for once, Elon Musk is actually right in his bold claims and the Model 3 will be the fastest vehicle in this track. However, we should probably wait for some proper data to actually come out from um, various motoring publications and official tests before we make an official judgment. However, 
I mean, things are looking good. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.